We're filming on location today at Contours Lingerie. That's on Mineral Point Road. And we'll be meeting with the owner later. That's Tia Lynn. She's an award-winning lingerie designer. Lucky enough to have her right here in Madison. Also lucky to have in Madison are these two fellows here. You might recognize their voices. We hear them a lot on some of the mm -hmm. commercials that you see on TV. Joining us is Buzz Kemper. He's the co-owner of Audio for the Arts. And Noah Gilfillan, an engineer of uh, audio and video engineer. Thanks for joining us, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's great to be here. And uh, we are with two beautiful women in a lingerie shop. So if we can't actually answer questions coherently, you'll have to forgive us. I was going to ask you. It's so sweet. It's our natural habitat. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, so some of our viewers, Audio for the Arts, may not be familiar, at least not the name of your business. I bet that they have been to some of the many things that you guys have worked on or seen or heard. Can you tell some of our viewers what you guys do and what you're working on right now? Yeah, the company started in 1996 just because there weren't a lot of engineers in Madison that were experienced with acoustic music. Most of the studios were either doing commercial work or they were doing rock and roll. And so we started doing stuff with orchestras and chamber groups and jazz groups and sort of grew from there. And pretty soon it, you know, it became this huge thing. We now have a fully uh, outfitted studio with a grand piano. And, uh, and we started doing remote work. And then when COVID hit, we started doing audio and video. And so now we're sort of, you know, a full service everything. So um, if you want us to cater your next, no, we don't do that. <laughs> but we, we do almost everything else um, in terms of video, audio, streaming, recording. Um, we've really expanded. Adding yes. jack of all trades. Jack of all trades. Yes. Awesome. Oh my gosh. And you do a lot of on location work, right? Yeah. Do you have any like great, um, events coming up that you'd like to tell us about? Well, one series that uh, we were doing an audio only stream before uh, the pandemic, we're now doing a video stream at the uh, Chazen Museum of Art. They have this really awesome classical music mm -hmm. series called Sunday Afternoon Live at the Chazen. Great name for it. Right. And so we had our first one last month, and it's the first month or first Sunday every month at the Chazen at 12 30, mm -hmm. noon, noon 30 p.m. And that is a we're so happy to be back in that space. It's really a pretty special uh, setting for classical music surrounded That's by these beautiful. beautiful paintings and high ceilings. The acoustics there are really awesome, so. Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. I bet I could even sing there and I, I would maybe sound okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's a great acoustic. We don't, it's, it's like when we work in big churches, we don't have to add any reverb. It's just right there. Yeah. yeah. Right. Oh. What about in studio? What kind of cool projects? You guys are always doing something cool. Yeah. Well, I just was working uh, the other day with uh, a guy named Roscoe Mitchell, who is an 80 year old uh, saxophonist, one of the founding members of the Art Ensemble of Chicago, a very venerable guy and he likes working with us uh, at the studio and there's a man from New York named Ivo Perelman who mm -hmm. wanted to do duets and he was flying all these other saxophone players out to New York to play duets with him. He said I'll do it but you have to come to Madison and you're working at Audio for the Arts and so he did and so we did that uh, that project uh, as well as you know we have of course many other projects including Noah is working with a really great band called Mr. Chair. Yeah, I was I was there till midnight last night Ooh. hanging out with them. Yeah. <laughs> I know you're also working on something called Groove Roulette, is that right? Yeah. You have a groovy shirt, but tell us about yeah. this Groove Roulette. <laughs> I coordinated today. No, yeah, uh, a really good friend of mine named Glenn Whittacombe, a couple uh, years ago, it started out as basically a house party that pe he just got a bunch of his musician friends together and jammed, and he's been doing it for two or three years now and has sponsors and we've been doing it at venues and now we're live streaming it from the studio and yeah he gets he gets four random musicians from Madison together in a room and we improvise for an hour and a half and the next one is on November 16th and we stream that um, on the Groove Roulette Facebook page and YouTube page is the place to find that. That's awesome. We've got to wind up and head to break, but uh, can you tell viewers how you might be able to help them? It doesn't sound like you're looking for business, but... <laughs> we'll always take more. Yeah, I mean, if you have a, a, you know, a musician, if you're a musician that needs to be recorded or you're a business that needs any kind of content for 
your YouTube channel for advertisements, either video or audio. We have voice talent, we have the engineering talent, uh, and uh, we can really help you out. We've done everything from voiceovers to jingles to audiobooks. We can do it all. Add on years of experience to that as well. Thanks, Buzz. Nice to see you, Noah. Yes. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you for watching. We'll see you on the other side of the break.